Kim has already decided to change her wardrobe. Yeah. Winterizing. I always drag my feet to winterize the wardrobe. And then I change the opposite when it's springtime. I bring out the stuff in like March. <laughs> uh, all right, well, good morning, everyone. As you head out the door this morning, it is a good morning on the roads. We've got dry roads uh, and no problems to worry about right now, but let's talk construction. For those of you who travel over on southbound I-75, the ramp to southbound Dixie Highway will be closed. This starts in a couple of hours, 9 a.m. That closure will end at 7 o'clock this evening. And then over on eastbound I-94, right at Woodward, there's gonna be only one lane open overnight. This starts at 8 p.m. ending tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. and this is going to be a nightly project continuing for the rest of the work week. Back to you. All right, Kim, thank you. It is 548 everybody. Let's uh, get you caught up on a few stories that you might have missed. This one is so bizarre. An Oklahoma woman recently in the hospital after she was apparently shot by a dog. A dog while waiting at a train crossing. So Tina Springer was a passenger inside of a car. Police say that the driver's yellow lab jumped onto the center console, causing the gun that was there to fire and hit Springer in her thigh. That's all the it's information a we have. Fluke accident, but yeah. thankfully she hopefully will fully recover. Yeah, a shot to the crazy. thigh. I think she'll. Yeah. I hope she'll be okay. All right, a Texas man is locked up this morning, accused of robbing a bank just one day before his wedding day. The 36-year-old groom-to-be told police that he needed the money to buy a ring and pay for the wedding venue. You know how expensive weddings can be. Well, I mean, okay. <laughs> so his name is Heath Bumpus. He's from a small town about 120 miles from Houston. The wedding was supposed to be. It was supposed to be last Saturday, but the robbery took place on Friday. His fiance, after seeing this photo of him circulating, eventually convinced him to turn himself in. This uh, photo was circulating through the local police department's Facebook page, and uh, she caught wind of it. Yes, and got to know a little bit more about this man she's planning to marry. Mm -hmm. So the wedding did not take place. Unclear, though, if it will at a future date. Bumpus, by the way, is not allowed to have any visitors in jail. So we'll have to think about that poor decision. So, uh, you know, I think he wanted anything for his bride. Yeah, but you just and can't then do said, anything. Hmm, mm -hmm. going to rob somebody? Got to be some limits. Yeah. You know, when, those, when those values and morals come into play. Now, I wonder and how if you she... don't have those, he may not be the best husband. Right. <laughs> I wonder how she told him that the wedding was called off, or was he the one well, who was he like, was unable to listen, make it, I'm, I'm in jail, yeah. so I'm going to be a little late. Right. <laughs> and then does she continue dating him? Like, you know, does she show up for the, you know, the visits in the jail? Him. She'll love, but maybe From not afar. marry him. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't sound like a really good guy. It's going to make good choices for the family. How's he explain that to the next girlfriend? <laughs> uh, it's 5.50, everybody. All rise. No, seriously, like rise. Her Honor Barbie heading to a courtroom near you. Toy maker Mattel introducing Judge Barbie, complete with a traditional black robe and a tiny gavel. I love it. It comes in four different skin tones with four different hairstyles, so all girls feel represented. Lisa McKnight, the head of the Barbie brand, says that just 33% of sitting U.S. state judges are female, and she hopes that the new doll will increase that number. That is very cool. I have a, a friend who is an attorney, and she went out and she bought one of those immediately because she said this is what she's been waiting for. Absolutely. And she hopes that that will inspire other young girls that are yes, looking to go into law. Yes, and we have a lot of great female judges yes, here we do. in our state and our city. And so uh, definitely something I'm sure they're very proud of. A number of. of them come to mind. I bet they might start giving those out as gifts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good We're talking that. about you, Judge Vonda, <laughs> uh, who has since retired, I believe. Yes, yeah, she yeah. has. And it's 551, everybody. So it fell from the sky and it went right through the roof. Even more surprising, some in the family were not surprised. We're going to explain what we're talking about here. That's coming up. And up in flames, an investigation underway this morning after a house fire quickly got out of control and began to spread. On the next Live in the D, where to get your fill of delicious desserts. Plus, the star of a hit NBC show joins us in studio. Today at 10 a.m. on Local 4. It's four o'clock and we're here. But our coverage is everywhere. And no matter the weather, bringing you special moments from across the metro area. And trending stories you'll want to share. We're live from Detroit, first at four. Then on Inside Edition. Wrinkles the Clown. Do parents really hire him to scare their kids? The new documentary and the shocking truth behind the identity of Wrinkles the Clown. Inside Edition, following Local 4 News, first at four, today.
When my sister Carrie was hit by a semi in Romulus, she needed a powerhouse lawyer. So I called Lee and he met us in the ICU. Then I put my trucking team to work to get Carrie over $1 million. When you need somebody to come to the hospital, I'll be right there. Your water softener needs salt. You buy it, lug it, pour it over and over. Save salt and the hassle with a Culligan High Efficiency Water Softener. The world's best. Click or call Culligan Water and start saving today. I needed to lose the weight. There was a health fair where uh, I worked. It just so happened that medical weight loss was there. I couldn't ask for a better group of gals that took care of me at that time. Yeah, I lost about 100 pounds in 10 months. It's more than just the weight loss program. It's basically saved my life. Stick with the program because it works. Lose up to 40 pounds in 12 weeks for only $179 when you call 1-800-GET-SLIM. It's the shape of things to come. Want to take your XFi to the next level? Now you can with XFi Advantage, giving you enhanced performance and protection. When devices are connected to your home's Wi-Fi, they're protected, helping keep outsiders from getting inside. Plus, you get unlimited data, so you can stream, surf, and game all you want. With confidence, you can get coverage where you need it most. That's XFi Advantage. Get started with Xfinity Internet for $20 a month for 12 months, or get four times the speed for just $10 more a month. Call, click, or visit a store today. Uh. <sighs> Welcome to the wonderful world of Oz. <sighs> Find it all and more at Motor City Casino Hotel. Are you looking to save money on your mortgage or lower your payment? Well, now could be the time. With rates at their lowest point of the year, call 248-308-5000, or you can chat with us online at davidhallmortgage.com. Uh, my wife, Kate, was severely injured in Clawson, and I knew I needed a powerhouse lawyer, so I called Lee. I came to the hospital. Then my law firm investigated Kate's accident and got her $250,000. When you need somebody to come to you, I'll be right there. Local Ford Traffic is sponsored by Wallside Windows. Right now, get half off every window plus no interest until December 2024 and no down payment. Call now or schedule at wallside.com. Good Tuesday morning as we take a look out there at sky conditions. Clear. Cool. How cool? Well, we have a lot of low and middle 40s. Officially at Metro, 48 degrees. Pretty standard for this time of year, and we're going to get a, a lot of sunshine, especially the first half of the day. 64 already by noontime, 68 the afternoon high with just a few clouds pushing through, and we're staying nice and bright all the way through the first half of Friday. Kim. All right, look like some good temperatures there, Brandon. And your commute looking good as well. We've got green arrows all over the map this morning and dry roadways, which means your Tuesday morning commute is looking like a good one or accident free. An investigation is underway after a massive house fire spread to nearby brush. Officials received a call last night. Firefighters struggled to stop the spread. They got the fire under control when helicopters dropped retardant. Thankfully, no one was hurt, but the cause is unknown. An Illinois woman opens the door to find something that she really never expected would appear in her home. There was an, an aircraft wheel. Yeah, the wheel was lodged in her roof, creating Whoa. this giant hole right in her bathroom. The woman who lives near an airport always worried an airplane would come crashing through her home. Always said one of these days, one of them planes are gonna fly into this house. I've always said that, but it didn't fly into the house, it just dropped a wheel. But we just feeling a little blessed right now that nobody got hurt. That is unbelievable. What? And it looks like a small wheel, so maybe it wasn't such a huge plane, because imagine if it was a big jetliner. It's still a wheel. <laughs> the question though is how did it get there? A helicopter company has taken responsibility for the fallen wheel and has offered to pay for the damages and repairs to her roof and ceiling. Pay for the damages? How about free helicopter rides for life? 
she we, we gotta, may we, not want that. We got to nego <laughs> we gotta negotiate something a little bit better than that. You're always like an you up know? one. You're always yes. thinking, yes, repair this, but then I want this. Because imagine, okay, so that was the wheel. You what if what? the if helicopter? That helicopter's company is losing wheels that you may not want to <laughs> Just saying. It's very likely. How's it landing at mm -hmm. the end? Of well, I guess it has the skids. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, hmm. still, it's concerning. All right, time now is 5.57. New at 6. We've got local stories for you coming up from Detroit, here on Township and Westland. Plus, Fortnite accused of being as addictive as cocaine. Do you think that's a stretch? Well, there is a lawsuit the maker of the video game is now facing. And downtown Detroit might soon be getting smarter. We've got details about the deal that's behind this new smart kiosk that could soon be popping up across the city. That and more when we come back in one minute. Keep it here. Join us October 13th for Eleanor's March for Hope presented by WDIV Local 4. Hundreds of Metro Detroiters will march shoulder to shoulder to support Focus Hope's mission, eliminating racism, poverty, and injustice. Register at focushope.edu slash march. We'll see you there. Big trucks cause big injuries. If you're injured in a big truck accident, you need a big advantage. The Bernstein Big Truck Advantage. Call 1-800-CALL-SAM today. Create your own color tour this fall with help from CNL Ward. Whether it's windows, doors, siding, roofing, or decking, you'll save 25% off your entire project, plus free financing for a limited time. Add a splash of color, a hint of texture, and let the beauty of the season inspire a new look and feel for your home. That's 25% off every home project you've been dreaming about, plus free financing. Call 800 go -CL ward or visit GoSealWard.com for your free in-home estimate today. An Army vet, our client, was hit by a car and suffered serious injuries. At the beginning, the insurance company didn't offer him a penny. So we tried his case and won $613,000 right here in this courthouse. That's the Bernstein Advantage. Live from downtown Detroit, home of WDIV and Click on Detroit, Local 4 News Today at 6 starts now. Did you know it's still pizza month? Oh, listen. It is Tasty Tuesday. So we have that coming up this hour. Good morning, everybody, on this Tuesday, October 8th. Thank you for waking up with us. Yes, and let's talk about what's happening right now on Local 4 News today at 6 a.m. Armed and dangerous. Take a look at this surveillance video. It captures a pretty scary scene of a carjacking at a Detroit gas station. And now the search is on for the people in the video. Plus, a waiting word, General Motors laying another offer on the table for its UAW workers. And this comes after contract talks soured over the weekend. So could there be a deal today? And blind justice. For years, his vision kept him from being a lawyer. And now a major court ruling is leveling the playing field. But first, after a beautiful Monday, let's see if Brandon can dial up another one today. Terrific Tuesday. Oh, all right. We've got it is a little bit cooler out there this morning. You maybe had to close some of the windows that you had open a good part of yesterday. Look at this 39 in Ann Arbor, 44 Pontiac. We've dropped a degree over at Metro as well. 47. The winds are light. The numbers are cool and that leads to a little patchy fog and quick cooling 39 Ann Arbor 39 Flint look at Lapeer 38 we uh, just got out of the 30s in Jackson but most of us low to middle 40s so it's jacket weather for the kids heading out a little patchy fog especially rural areas at the bus stop this morning middle 40s temperature wise middle to upper 60s later this afternoon a nice blend of sun and clouds and another Really good hair day with low humidity, light winds, and look at that. Nothing on satellite and radar, guys. Hey. Oh, that's a pretty sight. That means yes. abundant sunshine. We'll take it. Here is Julio joining us now. Uh, during our 5 a.m. hour, she had a big announcement to make. Any other announcements you'd like to share with <laughs> my our announcement viewers? was that I was changing over my plan for today is I'm changing over my closet mm -hmm. to from summer clothing to fall clothing yeah. okay so it's about time it's about time a lot of folks are probably doing that as well yeah I have a tiny little closet so I got to put it's, everything <laughs> can't fit at once <laughs> <It can't. laughs> uh, yes but let's take a look at your fall commute 
uh, if you're headed out the door right now. Here's what it looks like out there. Well, if a view from the maps, as you can see, we've got uh, green arrows all over the place, which means that we don't have any accidents to worry about. And we've got dry roads as well. So as you head out the door on this tasty Tuesday morning of pizza month, you're looking good. Back to you guys. Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. And that breaking news that we're following right now is from Huron Township, where police are investigating a smash and grab at a gas station. This happened on Huron River Drive and Waltz. Unclear exactly what the smash and grabbers got away with, but we do have a crew there on the scene. They're working to gather more information. We're going to keep you updated on this story and a whole lot more throughout the morning.